Welcome to Web Design for Professional Portfolios. This series presents some basic web design principles that you can use for any website you create, but will be applied specifically to the project of creating a web portfolio that showcases your professional experience and credentials. This first lesson is about web page layout. Here we'll discuss and demonstrate some things you'll want to keep in mind when deciding how to balance and organize the various components of the pages that make up your web portfolio. The first thing you'll want to do for your portfolio is design or select a consistent template. You'll want a coherent look and feel and a consistent navigation system that carries through your entire site. If you're using a common web hosting site like Weebly, Google Sites, or Wix, for example, you'll be able to achieve this consistency simply by selecting a template and staying with it throughout your site. If you're coding your own website, you'll want to use cascading style sheets, or CSS, to ensure a consistent format. We won't be talking about coding or CSS in this lesson but there are many resources available on the web to help you learn them. When choosing a template for your site, one thing to consider is the size of the banner. Some templates, while pleasing to the eye, have banners that are so large they force visitors to do a lot of scrolling to get to the content of your site. It's usually best to choose a template with a modest banner, or one where you can modify and shrink the banner, in order to allow your viewers to get right to your content. Once you've chosen your template, you'll still have some decisions to make about arranging elements on your page. Generally, you'll want to avoid having very large, unbroken blocks of text, since reading from the screen can be more tiring than reading from the printed page. This doesn't mean that you can't include large amounts of text on the web page. In fact, for a portfolio showcasing your work, you'll be writing reflective essays and perhaps posting papers you've written. For pages that do contain a lot of text, though, Make it easier on your reader's eyes by breaking the page up with images and including plenty of section headers. If you follow these guidelines, a consistent template, modest banners, and a good balance of text, section headers, and images, your viewers will enjoy the appearance of your site while still focusing their attention primarily on your great content.